there's only one more thing to do that's give them a drink so I'll pause this video just till I go and get some water for them Hello everyone, um, I'm not sure if you can hear the rain outside or not, but it's only just started about a minute ago. Um, so I'm hoping I'm going to get a break in the weather because I've came down today with the intention of getting Katie, my little uh, Katie the Tatey from the Potato Challenge. Um, that's the original Katie, and then I've got two, four, six, eight, ten more. So from Katie, I've got 11 chickens. Two of them haven't produced anything at all, never germinated whatsoever. So today, I'll be putting them out if this rain breaks off. Katie, for those who's watched the channel previously, is going in the blue bucket, what I named Katie's house. The rest, I've prepared a bed just down by the polytunnel. They'll be going in there. I'll stand Katie in a bucket right beside it. And that's my potatoes for the single seed potato challenge 2024 with Steve at Digwell Green Fingers. Um, the bed's been well prepared. It's been well fed. Um, Trying to think what I've put in to be fair. Blood fish and bone. Yellow sulphur. Um, super phosphate. Night road chalk. Potato feed. And it's been fed nettle tea two days ago so I'm going to try and get it all out whilst there's a break in the rain if there's a break in the rain so I hope you'll join us in a short while cheers well I got down here and as you'll no doubt be able to hear it's lashing it down so I'm just going to put the moot in the old way. I'm not going to try and do it nice and tidy. It's just going to be planted. And then, hold oh, on, I'll move that a little bit. Right. Look, there's beauty. Can't be too heavy to move this probably. <laughs> Thank you. 
here at this house. Sure. No, I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight put in, which should be straightforward and fairly fast afterwards. There's six. And just two more to go. I didn't realise I had space in that far apart to be fair. Well, got them out. I didn't realise actually I might space them out a bit more.
that little one. Just slightly. Hey, that looks better. So, there's only one more thing to do. That's give them a drink. So, I'll pause this video just till I go and get some water for them. Just in case anyone's interested, that was just a little bit of comfrey tea that I've just poured on. Because I might, you just might be thinking, well, why are you watering it when it's raining? There's a break in the rain at the moment. The bed was nice and dry, so it's having a good drink. I'll give it a good feed. Um, and then I'm just going to water my cucumbers and these tomatoes in here, and then we'll go either to the fruit cage or back to the shed, whichever. I've just watered the cucumbers. Um, I've done a video, I think it was about three days ago, and I showed you was some very, very small cucumbers on it. There's a one at about, I would say about five inches. Then there's another one there, that's about three and a half inches. There's a one, there that's about four inches then there's another one there which is only about two inches so this one's doing okay this one on the other hand um i can see two very very small cucumbers there um i actually can't see anymore at the moment so oh sorry there's one right down the bottom there but that's about it really so cucumbers i'm pleased with one of them anyway my strawberries are starting to come on believe it or not this is the first time I've grew strawberries, because I don't actually eat them. But I just thought, ah, oh, I'll have a go. 
it's a couple of firsts for us, um, even this. Uh, the courgette, I can see two courgettes growing. One there, and one beneath it, just there. So, happy with that. Uh, sweet corn. Grown quite well. I haven't got my glasses on, but to me this photo looks a bit distorted and so anyway I hope the picture itself is okay. So there is Katie's house and Katie's offspring. So let's hope that they do well. Onions are Dean Alreed. I've got a, a pumpkin over there or some little shit bag snap the heat off there uh, one of my sunflowers you know yeah look they snap the heat off it hopefully it will still grow I've still got that sunflower there running a tub I've got that one looking sad then I've got still got this one not too bad not great but not too bad and I've got this bed of onions that bed parsnips carrots the collies in there and then the rest of broccoli savoy cabbage the raspberries starting to come up again sprout that needs weeded in there but the sprouts are doing well Cauliflowers, then broccoli. I don't know if I said broccoli before, but they are broccoli. We, I think it's five cauliflowers at the end, but the broccoli are doing all right. My swede are doing all right. Those swede are doing all right. Then in there I've got four giant beetroot. I planted them with last week I think. Then in here shallots with lettuce and a couple more beetroot. Uh, and there's the main tarties. There's my first earlies. They're done. Some more second earlies. And then I've got mains at the end. Uh, and there's me Jacobson family allotment adventure sunflower. It's getting big every day. So that's doing well. So we're going to go back in the shed now. Well, we'll go in and have a look at the greenhouse now. It's pretty empty by comparison to what it was. Obviously, the parsnips are still there in the box and in the tubes, pipes, whatever you want to call it. Carrots are still here in the boxes. And in the pipes, dahlias are here, but when you turn around, the shelf that was hanging up there has gone. There's note on the windowsill, and if you look on the bench here, the only thing you can see pepper, 
pot leeks, pepper, melon, well, my melon, Ian's melon. I snapped a bit off my another day by accident. So Ian's got the biggest melon up to now. But, yeah, if you look, greenhouse is pretty empty, so I'm going to start throwing more stuff. Obviously, tomato room is chocker still, and I need to get all this sorted out in the middle and all, so I can get my pallet back in. Um, but, tomatoes, the flower in, um, some have already got tomatoes on. You know, there's not a, a load of them that's got them. Just the odd one or two at the moment. Um, the tumbling tomatoes. They are doing quite well. And then these ones at the end here, starting to flower. So all in all, the tomato room is flourishing. The temperature in here at the moment is just below 20. I have, while it was raining and I was outside day in the 80s, I had these louvers open, that window open, that one which is open just a little bit now, that one at the end here, that one, that big one at the top which is actually still open, I had them open and I had my new window wide open as well, as well as the door so the temperature is excellent now, just the way I like it. Um, in here it is, it's about 16, 17, so that's all right. So, there you are, oh, me garlic. I didn't plant many, I think I only planted about 12, but about five of them were just a soggy mess when I pulled them out. So, but never mind, I'm going to have myself a drink and chocolate and a warm by the fire because my sweatshirt is soaking wet. Well, I've got my sweatshirt on the back of a chair just in front of the fire to try and dry it off. Um, oh, before I forget, when I was telling you what that bed had been treated with, um, for the potatoes, for Katie's potatoes, I forgot to mention, as well as um, nettle tea, it has had super soil, which I got sent to us by Terry King, so thank you Terry. Um, speaking of Terry, I've also got some uh, oh, Pongo French beans, what Terry sent us. So I will get those ones soon within the next couple of days. So there's some I can sow to get in the greenhouse. Um, actually, if Terry watches this, if he can comment, is it best to set them up in a greenhouse or just sow them direct? I've never done them before. Um, in saying that, I know Terry's done a video on them. I could watch the video anyway. But they'll be next. Um, I'll let it go through my seed box and see whatever else I fancy growing. I've caught up with quite a lot of videos over the last few days. Um, Jamie, I've caught up with Jamie's. Um, chicks are looking great. Um, but, you know, his allotment is looking good. A little bit weedy, mind Jamie, a little bit weedy. Um, but it's looking really good. Inside the polytunnel, looking good. Oh, the farmyard garden. Claire, what can I say? 12 months. In fact, it may not even be 12 months yet. She has got that looking absolutely fantastic. Must be true what they say about farmers. They must have a few quid. Because Claire spent a lot of money on doing that. And it is absolutely fantastic. 
she should be so so proud of herself for what she's achieved in such a short time and now people say oh you can do this you can do that but it still takes hard work as well so yeah claire might have bought this she might have bought that but she's done a hell of a lot of hard work as well so i've called her one claire's um ali and trisha the right pair plot i've caught up with them um linda feel good garden i've caught up with linda's um eric and rachel old allotment plots caught up with theirs um lauren the tiny, tiny garden caught up with lauren's terry kings i'm up to speed with terry's um tony smith i'm up to speed with steve digwell digwell green fingers i'm up to speed with steve's nicola gardner i think i've got two more videos That'll bring us real up to date with Nick's. Um, Jason, the allotment of the dead. I think I've got three more. That'll bring us up to date with that. Ali, my rusty garden. I've got one more and I'll be up to date with that one. Um, Danny, the Grow Up channel. I've got two more to watch to get us up to date with them. Uh, young Freddy, I've only got one more to watch to catch up. I'm trying to think. JB, I've got two or three of JBs to watch. So, oh, Mal, my God, the Veg Plot Man, Mal. I've got two to watch of Mal's. I love watching Mal, I really do. I, I think he's great. He's just down to earth. You get what you get what you pay for him, you know what I mean? He speaks as he finds. Genuine guy. I think he's absolutely fantastic. Anybody who's watching this who hasn't seen Mal or isn't subscribed to his channel, jump over. In fact, jump over to all the channels that I've named. Uh, there'll be a lot more. The Jacobson Family Allotment Adventure. Can over there, have a look at Anthony's, if you like it, give him a subscribe, give him a thumbs up on his videos. I never knew until I watched the video last night, when people actually put a thumbs up, they click on that thumb, you know the thumb. If they click on that, I never knew it helped to get your video spread more through YouTube. You know, I never say to people, um, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel I never see a note like that but if anybody's watching this and they would like to give us a thumbs up well feel free to do it um, as I say I never knew that it could actually help your channel to not spread but it, it brings that to a wider audience apparently so that was as I say that was just something I was totally unaware of um, there was something I was going to say then I've totally forgot my memory is like a sieve it's no wonder I actually attend a memory clinic if it, if it wasn't for me like <laughs> leaving myself notes you know like at home if it wasn't for me leaving notes I half the things I wouldn't remember Um. Me daughter's partner. Someone stole a light, a light cover, sorry, up the front of me bumper. I think it was a fortnight ago. Well, somebody scraped the back bumper, and I've noticed it's getting it's getting a couple of scratches here and there. Then obviously not of me because they're not in an area where I would be with me K or anything like that so i had phoned my daughter's partner and i just says look can you get us some forest green uh wood paint for me shed doing the allotment i want to give it a total change of color he says i i says while you're at it can you give us a couple of touch-up pens 
I says for me call. He says, we I need bother. So he says to us, what's your colour code? And I tell them, he got back, it was a couple of days later, he says, we didn't recognise that colour code. Can you send us something up the car, petrol, cap, two and I cover, whatever? I says, aye, need bother. So I took me two and I cover off. And when I nipped it out with the screwdriver, I put just a little nick on the plastic. So it's nicked the red paint. So I sent that to him with a little note inside. Can you get us a couple made up in aerosol as well? Well, I got a WhatsApp message on this morning. He's got his two five litre, no, sorry, two, yeah, that's right, sorry, two five litre tins of forest green, the end. He's got his two touch up pens, the brushes, like a, like a nail varnish effect thing. Um, in three aerosols. So, massive thank you. Nee, nee, well, no, I think he's great. Nah, seriously. He, he's a fantastic lad. Um, couldn't fault him. Treats me daughter really, really well. What more could I ask for? And then, obviously, he's good for me. So, yeah, that that's good. Um, speaking of me core... I repaired it all, and no, I think I need to get this track done. I was driving this morning in the pothole. You know how you have um, sleeping policemen, the speed bump, speed bumps. Normally, I don't slow right down. I go over them maybe 10, 15 miles an hour. Well, this morning, coming here, I slowed right down purely because... I had bags of compost and things in the back. So I slowed right down. I went over it and as my front wheel come over, the, you wouldn't believe, there's a pothole and it has to be about eight inches deep. So all you heard was a big clunk. And as I was driving, I thought, this car's pulling to the left. So I left go, I got it to go straight and I took my hand off the steering wheel and immediately it pulled across to the left. The same side that I went down the Potwell. So I'm going to have to go and get my tracking checked and hopefully nothing's bent as it's hit the pothole. But more expense. Um, got to take my dog where he's booster. I keep putting it off because, well, he doesn't like people. Last time I told him the vet's mind, he was timid as anything, but it's getting from the car. To the vet, because it's on the main high street, you got to walk past people, and he doesn't like people at all. So, I'm going to see, I will ring up, I'm going to see if I can get the very, very last appointment of the day, because there's one night where this, the stay open till 8 pm. So, I'm going to try and get a one close to 8 pm. It's a main busy high street, so you're not going to have the hustle and bustle at that time of night. You know, you've got a Morrison's, but that's about 500 yards further along the road. So there's not going to be that many people. Um, I gave me comfrey a stir before. <laughs> gave me comfrey a stir before, and the nettle. Oh my god, it was putrid to say the least. I'm glad on one of them I've actually got a seal lid because that's well that's been brewing for oh I don't know. Months and months and months. You've just got to lift that lid and the smell hits you. The other ones, they're not so bad until you stir them. But that one, just as soon as you lift it, it's in your face. So they've all had a good stirring. Um, speaking of that, Jamie, if you need any nettle tea or... Com I get mixed up all these names. Some people call it nettle tea, nettle soup. Compry tea, compry soup, whatever you want to call it, call it. So, Jamie, if you need any nettle tea, compry tea. Give us a shoot, mate, and I can get you some out of my barrels. It's not a problem. Um, there's a rain starting again. Oh, hey, I kind of get out done outside with this weather. I think I'm going to just go home 
and say to the dog and I may come back down a little bit later around tea time is 5pm if it stays dry if the rain comes down like like it's expected to any any gardener watching this if you're from the northeast you're now around trying to with this weather um you kind of get no done outside so i'll leave it till about 10 to 5 5 o'clock see what the weather's like if it's dry i'll come back down if it's not i'm staying in the house so i'll just like to say thank you to the new subscribers i've got a couple more thank you so much and thank you to every subscriber i've got thank you to anyone that watches these videos whether you comment you don't comment whether you give that thumbs up thing or you didn't or you give a thumbs down thank you for just taking the time out of your day to watch the, the video and hear me ramble it is greatly appreciated yeah. well i was going to go home i'm going to have to wait a minute because it started to hailstone so i'm going to take you to the door and let you see Wow, wow, wow. Rain and hailstone. Shocking it, dune. Um, so, I'm Jimmy, Plot 41B. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye-bye.